What is up guys, it is Christ and we are back with another video. Welcome back to part 3 of Aqua Angra album reaction. And um, this week we're going to be finishing up the album. Unfortunately, we did not get to finish it up last week. There's a bunch of stuff that was going on. I had a Nightwish thing and after recording for about 4 hours, I was absolutely sick of recording. And so therefore I just didn't get around to doing this one. I do apologize for that one, but um, it's the way it fell. Anyways, we are going to be doing um, two songs today. And uh, we're going to be doing... Uh, weakness of a man and then ashes and hopefully this album ends on a really solid note overall this album has been absolutely amazing and this is by far one of my favorite angry albums um there's a lot of really good songs on here there's a lot of really heavy stuff there's a lot of speedy stuff there's some slower stuff there's some progressive stuff all around it's an absolutely amazing album and i cannot wait to finish it out um and so yeah without further ado let's go ahead and check out weakness of a man Okay, acoustic. Ooh, okay. Bringing some drums in. Some uh, bongo, I think. Almost sounds like Home by Dream Theater for a second there. I like this, this is nice. They got some uh, traditional instruments being incorporated along with the drums, and it sounds really unique. I hear tambourine in there, too. Ooh, I love that Spanish guitar. So far, Edo's voice is pretty good. Okay, looks like we're going heavy. That's a pretty nice riff. I like how this one's more of like a roller coaster type of song. It's got a uh, ebbs and flows to it. It's got really, like, uh, I guess. Heavy points, then it comes back down again. I really like that. It, it gives it a good dynamic for a song. And it looks like, yeah. Pretty calm section here. Okay, going heavy. I hear uh, it looks like an egg shaker too. I like the, the subtle choir uh, vocals too, that sounds pretty good. Again with the with the uh, Spanish influence guitar. Ooh. That's nice. Ooh. Interesting. Okay. Get a little bit froggy. Ooh. I don't think I've heard much wah from uh, Anger before. This is nice. I like this. Ooh, some a little bit of subtle harmonizing. Okay. They give you little teases of little proggy sections. I love it. Where's 
Yeah. 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 This is a pretty good song. It's more of a very, it's a pretty chill song, but I really like it. it this incorporates pretty much every element that's been in the, the album so far. This almost seems like the climax of the, of the album. I gotta say, I started out not really uh, liking Edu's song in the first uh, song. I think it was a Rising Thunder, but after that, it, it's pretty good. Ooh, I like her bringing that uh, that other. Uh, I don't know what that's called, but the other sort of drum. I don't know if it's a bongo drum or something else, but they, I like how they're bringing it in. Okay. Kind of an interesting guitar solo. This is a nice song. I started off thinking it was okay. I, I, I gotta pause. I gotta talk about this song. I'll pause after this song's over. I gotta talk about this song. This song was really, really good. I started off thinking it was, it was, it was okay. Like there was some like cool little like uh, instruments and stuff that I heard. And then this song just started going up on a roller coaster, gradually going uphill until it finally reached a climax at the end right there. That was an absolutely amazing song. I really liked um, the subtle building and uh, that they were doing throughout the song. And it all came to a head at the end right there. And it was just so epic. I really loved that. Anyways, let's continue. That definitely felt like the climax of the uh, album, at least musically. So we'll see what this one's about. I really liked how that last one incorporated um, elements of all the uh, songs prior to it. That was pretty nice. This is open eye, it's not open mind. Ooh, I like the piano. It sounds creepy but and ominous, but I love it too. I love piano playing. The drums are pretty good at subtly building this section too. way more emotional song than the last one.
Okay, pretty nice piano section. There's, a, I think, a subtle flute, too. Ooh, who's the, who's the female vocalist? emotional guitar solo I'm surprised like normally they go for like the super fast route but this is nice this fits the song so well oh they're harmonizing so nice I'm pretty sure both of the vocalists are here. Possibly, it may be just him harmonizing with himself. was a pretty good song at the end right there i do want to listen to the album again this was a really good album i haven't had a chance to listen to it more than uh once though i was kind of waiting until i heard the last of this song before i i started the album up again but um yeah i am i'm definitely wanting to listen to this album through completely in its entirety so um that is going to be it for the music side of reaction um obviously but um now i have to admit i didn't list i didn't check out the tempest story i had completely forgotten about it until i had sat down to record a bunch of stuff happened last week and so i wasn't able to do it but i will be doing it uh probably after i get done with this uh because i definitely want to understand the story um and i uh, want to appreciate the album as a whole so i think that i should probably read the tempest first and then check out um this album in its entirety so um Overall, this album was absolutely amazing. It was an absolute roller coaster. There was some really soft sections like Ashes, um, but then there was some super proggy parts. There was some super heavy parts, and there was some uh, in-betweeners as well as some soft stuff, and this album was really musically diverse, and it's something that I really appreciated. Uh, it's something that not many Angra albums have. Um, a lot of them are... Uh, excuse me. A lot of them are on the speed metal side of things, and they uh, don't really um, bend too much in terms of tempo. But this album was uh, definitely one that had a lot more, uh, I guess, tempos in it, which is what I really appreciated. Um, Ido's voice was also absolutely amazing in this record. Um, it wasn't his best performance that I've heard, but it was it was pretty solid nonetheless. Um, and so, yeah, I, I'm going to give this album a five. It was really good, and I don't think there's anything wrong with this album at all. The only thing I thought was kind of um, not as good as the rest was um, the beginning of Rising Thunder. Uh, excuse me. Um, Ido's voice in Rising Thunder definitely uh, wasn't the best, but after that, it seemed to smooth itself out. Guys, that is going to be all for this video. If you guys want to see more Angra, please make sure you guys are recommending an Angra album in the community post. I will be putting that up right after this. And whichever is the highest rated one, well, the two highest rated ones, sorry, you can't see that, 
Two highest rated ones are going to be pitted against each other, and we will be checking out the winner next week. Um, I don't think I'm going to do Shaman because the first one I did got blocked, and so therefore I am not probably going to be checking out Shaman unless it's single song, um, like I guess, reactions. And so I may throw some of those in as like a bonus. So if you guys want to recommend single Shaman songs, please make sure you do that as well. I want to check out more Shaman. Definitely, um, I think the album, What Was Fairy Tale On? I have listened to that album a lot. And I have to say, it is by far my, my favorite uh, Andre record. Um, it's a shame I did not get to share that with you guys on the channel because it was absolutely amazing. I love that record to death. It is incredible. Um, you guys, it delivered on the hype that you guys had, um, had set up for it. So with that out of the way, we will see you guys later.